What is up everyone? I am Kelsey Wells. Welcome to my home and welcome to the Women's Health UK live virtual event. I, I'm a little bit nervous but I am so excited. Today we are going to do a full on, full out power at home session. I, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Kelsey Wells. I am a sweat trainer and I have power programming available in the sweat app. My power at home program is a 28 week program designed for you to strength train in the comfort of your own home. It is meant to maximize your time and effort spent exercising. It requires minimal equipment, but today's workout requires zero equipment. All you're going to need today is about the space of a yoga mat, your body, and I highly recommend some water and a towel because things are going to get sweaty. This workout is based on time under tension, so you can go at your own pace. It is challenging, but I will, of course, provide modifications, low impact versions, advancements. So I'm gonna meet you where you're at, and it is up to you to push yourself, and it will be up to you what you get out of this session, like anything in life, right? Um, you know, I know that things lately are strange and we've all been spending a lot of time at home. Lots of us are homeschooling from home or working from home or our schedules are a little bit flipped upside down. Some of us are dealing with some really tough things. And I wanted to take a second to talk about why we exercise and why I'm doing this. Um, fitness is about our health. It is about our mental, emotional, and physical health. And when we exercise, it not only is good for our physical body, but it is good for our minds. And that is what I want you to focus on during today's session. I was not active you know, in my adult life until after the birth of my son five and a half years ago. And fitness saved me in a way. It was the tool that I used to empower myself in my life. So yes, my programs are designed to help you build strength, but it is also just as much designed and aimed towards helping you discover how strong you are and already are and always have been. Your strength and your power is not in a gym. It's not in the weights. It is in you. So with that in mind, I want us to focus today on the fact that we are super blessed. If you are here standing ready to work out, that means that you have enough health that you could exercise. And that means that you have a body that is able to move right now. And those are huge blessings that we way too often take for granted. So we're going to focus and let this session be a gratitude practice for our bodies. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're gonna get really sweaty. Um, a brief overview of our session. We're going to have a warm up, um, the activation circuits, supersets, burnout, and then a cool down. I'm not gonna give everything away right now. I will demo all the exercises and really explain each phase kind of as we go. Um, but yeah, I think we need to get right into it. So to warm up, we're just gonna start jogging in place. Everybody up if you're not already. <sighs> Big deep breaths. We're just gonna jog 30 seconds, get our heart rates up a little bit. <sighs> you should always hear your breath in your strength training. <sighs> 30 seconds. And then we'll go into some dynamic stretches. 10 seconds. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> you guys are gonna smash this, all right. Now, we're gonna warm up that upper body. Let's do some shoulder retractions. All I'm doing here is pulling my shoulder blades down and back, hold, with deep breaths. Nice, three, two, one more. And let's do some rotations. Nice and big. One more. And other way, towards the front. Elbows. Shoulders. Just about five more seconds. We'll do three, two, one, okay, lower body, we're going to get into a high plank. And we're going to do some downward dogs and calf pumps. So you're in that high plank, your shoulders are stacked with your wrists. We're going to send our hips back. <sighs> Breathing deep. <sighs> and pump those calves. 
three, two, one. Back into high plank. Send your hips back one more time. A little deeper into it this time if you can. And pump those calves. All right, jump or step back up. And we are warm. We're gonna jump right into our activation because I don't want us to cool down at all. The activation, a brief description, we have two activation activations. They're kind of like mini circuits. So there is no resting. Okay, we're going to do activation one, which is two exercises. Back to back, three rounds, 30 seconds each exercise. And then we'll do the same thing with activation two. So activation one, starting off with just jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Your core is nice and strong. Arms up, nice and straight. Big rest, 30 seconds here. Ten seconds. After this, we're gonna do some sumo squats. Keep going. My mat likes to slide a little bit here. All right, in five, four, couple more jumping jacks, and sumo squats. So we are standing with our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. You want to make sure that your knees track in line with your toes. You're sending your hips back, <sighs> breathing. Your chest is nice and proud. Shoulder blades drawn back behind you. Squat nice and deep if you can. Waking up those legs. And one more. Perfect, jumping jacks. I'm gonna go right behind my mat this time. 30 seconds, this is round two, activation one. Core is nice and strong. I want you to straighten your arms as much as you can. We have 10 seconds right here. Big deep breaths. This is part of the workout, but it's really just the beginning. Three, two, second set of sumo squats. Straight into it, no resting. If you feel like you need to rest, I encourage you to go slower. Nice and slow pace. You can always modify before you quit. Keep that core strong. Sending our hips back, knees in line with our toes. And three, two, give me one more. Jumping jacks, last round. Nice. Should be harder this time because our heart rate has been up. Keeping that pulse elevated. Last set of jumping jacks. Let's keep going. I want you to push it, hold that core tight. Yes, this is a simple exercise, that does not mean it's easy. You're pushing the cardio element right now. 10 seconds. Breathe, slow your pace before you quit. Three, two, and our last set of those squats. Knees are in line with our toes, chest is nice and proud. Sending those hips back and not forgetting to breathe. You can do a quicker pace. We'll keep it nice and steady. 10 seconds, we're almost done with activation one. Five seconds and you get some water. Keep going, guys. Three, two, everybody, one more squat. Well done, get a drink. I'm gonna grab one as well. Deep breaths, we're getting warm, we're in it. We are done with our first activation. We have one more activation circuit left. Okay, activation two is going to be, I'm gonna explain this while we rest. Step taps, so another cardio move, and dead bugs. 
I'll demo the dead bug for you now. If you're not familiar, you want to lie supine on your mat, which simply means facing up. And beginning with your knees and your legs in tabletop and your arms extended directly over your chest, nice and straight, you're going to extend opposite arm and leg at the same time. And back up. A modification, don't extend as low or just do your arms and hold those legs in tabletop. That is a core exercise as well. The key is to keep your back pressed firmly to your mat at all times. All right, I think you guys got a little bit extra rest while I explain those. So everybody up, step taps 30 seconds right now. Let's go. Get that heart rate back up. Thirty seconds right here. If you really need low impact version, literally just step tap, take out the jump, nice and quiet, hold in that squat position. That works too, just as good, guys. Making sure our core is nice and strong either way. Three, two, dead bugs. Facing up on our mat, knees in tabletop, arms extended. Nice. Your core is nice and strong. Press flat to the ground. This move is a bit harder than it looks. So good for those abs. Modification, simply do your arms. Holding those knees in high plank with your core fully engaged. Three, two, one. All right, two more rounds of this. This is our second activation, so straight into the step taps. <sighs> yes. Should be sweating now. If I am and you're not, we've got a problem. <sighs> I want you to push yourself a little bit more with each round. You know the moves. I've already explained it. You don't need to watch me. Just go. Focus. Feel your heart rate. <sighs> 10 seconds again. Low impact, we're right here. Keeping that core strong. A slight squat and step, tap. Step, tap, three, two, one. Straight into our dead bugs. I'm not gonna explain it again. If you are unsure, you can watch me. But you know the move. Our modification, of course. Arms, arms, nice. About five seconds, three, give me one more, right back up into our step tap, last round, I'm going to do the low impact version. It looks so simple and it is simple, but the thing is about exercise in general, simple does not mean easy in most cases. Your heart rate should be elevated. It should be nice and sweaty. Your core is strong. <sighs> 10 seconds. Speed it up just a little bit. If you're jumping, go faster, 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 faster. Push, push, push. <sighs> Three, two, one. Last round of dead bugs. We're down on our mat. Straight into it. Remember, if you need a break, I don't want you to stop yet. Just hold, hold hold and then join us again when you can nice modification hold those legs in tabletop and just do your arms deep breaths we have about five seconds come on three breathe two give me one more I lied a little bit we're gonna do one more three two that is the activation session. Okay, next we have the circuit. If you train with me in the setup, you will know that circuit comes next. The circuit is similar to an activation in the way that we are going to do three exercises consistently without rest, but then we will have a rest after our third exercise. So three exercises, we're gonna do exercise one, exercise two, exercise three, 
30 second rest, three laps. I'm going to demo all three of our circuit exercises right now so that we can really push it when we are in it. Grab, be drinking some water while I explain this. I'm just gonna adjust my mat quickly. All right. Okay, jump lunges, exercise number one. I always laugh because that, that's actually my personal least favorite exercise in the world. So if you're whining about this, I'm right there with you. But we can do hard things and we can do things that are good for us even when we don't want to. So jump lunges, inchworm to push up and ab bikes. For the jump lunges, you're in that nice lunge position. You can have your hands at your sides or right in front of you. You're going to jump, keeping your core nice and strong. You're gonna need that for stability. Low impact version, we have a few. You can stand at the top of your mat and go reverse lunges, alternating. Or same thing, forward lunges. Okay, exercise two, inchworm to push up. You're gonna stand at the bottom of your mat with your feet about shoulder width apart, hinging at the hips and keeping your core really nice and strong. You're gonna bend, walk those arms out into a high plank, push up and walk it back in. Lower impact or modified version, bend your legs, Still walk those hands out, keeping your core nice and strong. Drop to your knees, push up, and back up. That is such a great compound exercise. It really works your full body in one move. Third and last in our circuit is our ab bikes. Again, we are on our mats, facing up. This time we're going to have our heads, our hands, not our heads, behind our ears. Start with your legs in tabletop and then you're going to alternate elbow to knee. Like this, I will provide you some modified versions as we go, but we are needing to get into it because while I'm still a little bit out of breath, you guys should be nice and rested. So everybody up. Okay, now I have to say um, in full disclosure, these rounds are 40 seconds each exercise. So a little bit more intense. I know 40 seconds is a long time to do jump lunges. Again, modify, modify before you quit. There is not a reason that you cannot get through these three exercises in this circuit without taking a break. You can, just go at your own pace, your own level. All right, let's get into it, everybody. I'm gonna do those right off my mat as well. Jump lunges, let's go, 40 seconds. Our core is really nice and strong. And you're gonna need to breathe for these. Modified version, low impact option. Again, this is not easier, just different. Nice, alternate those lunges. Really breathe, we're about halfway through. Actually a little more, 10 seconds left, let's go. Lunge, alternate, use your breath, push. Three, two, everybody up. At the bottom of your mat, getting ready for those inchworm and push-ups. Standing again, core really nice and strong, hinging at our hips. Walk your hands out, wrists in line with our shoulders, push up and back in. Let's go. Right when you're up, you're back down. Again, modification, bend those legs, knees, push up. Let's go, five seconds, give me one more. Finish this rep strong. In three, two, ab bikes. Down, lying on your back. This is not a rest. Lying down, but not for long. Hands behind our head. There we go. Wait a second, there we go. All right, you guys, alternate elbow to knee. 40 seconds. Alternate version, knees and tabletop, extend.
10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice, grab some water. We are resting only for 30 seconds. I'm gonna try to figure out this mat situation a little bit. Apologize about that. All right. Okay, two more laps. Two more laps of that same circuit. You know what to do. You don't need to watch me. Just push yourself. You've got this. 10 seconds of our rest here. Deep breath. Get that oxygen to your muscles because we are jump lunging right now. Your core is nice and strong. You're using your breath. Nice. Low impact version. We're doing reverse lunges. Core still nice and strong. Alternating. 40 seconds this is our second round of our activation. Deep breaths. I know your legs are burning. Doesn't mean you need to stop. About five seconds, guys. Three, two, Inch from to push up. Join me at the bottom of your mat. <sighs> Standing feet wider than shoulder width, just barely. Hinge at the hips, walk it out. <sighs> Go at your own pace. If you need to bend your knees, great. Push up on your knees, awesome. But we don't stop. This is activation. No, this is our circuit. Round two. We've got 10 seconds. Yes. Come on, you guys. Three. Finish up this rep for me. And beautiful ab bikes. Lying down. Hands behind your head. Knees in tabletop. If you know, just go. Don't wait for me. For those of you unsure, Nice and steady. You don't need to make contact with your elbow and your knee. It doesn't really matter your range. It matters that your form is correct. Go at your own pace. Do it the best you can. That is all that matters. Okay, guys, 10 seconds. This is our second round of circuit. We're in the middle of this our home session. Three, two, one, beautiful. I need a little bit of water. I'm so proud of you guys. I've got to admit, when I got this opportunity, I was so honored. Thank you, Women's Health UK. And really nervous, because I've never led, I've led a million live sessions. That's my favorite part of what I get to do, but never by myself in my house. And it's a little bit awkward, but Things, you know, this is our normal right now. And I'm not going to stop trying to bring us together and create these opportunities because I understand again that it can be hard to self-motivate. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone. There's so many of us doing this right now all together. And I'm proud of you. So, all right. Last round of our circuit. You have about two seconds left of your rest. So stand back up and jump lunges. Last time. Three, two, one, let's go. Core strong. Step back if you want to, need to. Use your breath either way. 40 seconds, this is your last set of lunges today. That means we're gonna do it better than our other sets. Okay, you know what you're doing, let's go. And we're almost done 10 seconds lunge 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 if you're not pushing yourself i'll never know this is not for me this is for you are you gonna do it for yourself three give me one more rep beautiful okay inch from the push-up same thing our last set deep breath last chance to do these 40 seconds on the clock walking it out into high plank push up 
Add another if you want. Back in. Out. And back up. Modification, bend those knees. Still keeping your core strong. Push up from your knees. And back up. We're already halfway done. If you haven't yet joined us, if you're trying to catch your breath, please get up and just do what you can. I don't care if you hold the plank at the bottom, take out the push-up. Give me one more rep. One more. Yes, ab bikes. Last round, 40 seconds. I'm gonna go full out with all of you. Here we go, on the clock. We're almost finished with our circuit. That means we're over halfway done with our power at home session. Push, push, push. 10 seconds, come on you guys. Go, go, go. Nice and strong, core to the floor. Three, two, one. You just finished your circuit. That is huge. Those are hard. Those push your cardio endurance. Woo, we got our full body burn through those. Now, if you train with me at all on the app, you will know after the circuit are the supersets. Um, today we're having two supersets. Every power session does. These are Similar to the activations, but different. Um, two exercises in each superset. A superset simply means two exercises done consecutively, back to back without break. So it'll be exercise one, exercise two, rest. Exercise one, exercise two, rest. We're gonna do three laps of each superset. Now, we have really targeted our whole body so far through this workout. So now it's time to target and break down a couple of my favorite personal muscle groups to train. So superset one is going to be focused on our glutes. Superset two is going to be focused on our core. All right, I'm going to explain all four exercises right now so that we are going to do superset one, three laps, and superset two, three laps right in a row without any of this long break nonsense. Okay, so get nice and cozy, get hydrated because this is your last rest, all right? now. First exercise, sumo double pulse jump squat. Kind of a mouthful, probably my favorite body weight exercise in the world. Um, we already know how to do our sumo squats really well, so we're in that same position. Core nice and strong, shoulders back, send your hips back. We're going to get into that squat, we're gonna pulse once and jump, landing back down to that squat. So squat, pulse, jump for the low impact version. Squat, pulse, squeeze at the top. Nice. A little tip, when you are jumping, if you are, pulse, jump, and you're gonna land toe ball heel and catch yourself in the bottom of that squat. We wanna protect our knees. We wanna land lightly, if you will. Yes, okay. Exercise two in superset one, glute bridge and opening. So we're lying on our mat. We're going to have our palms press into the floor this time. Core still nice and strong, always. Your feet should be about eight inches from your butt, shoulder width apart, that's key. And we're going to raise our glutes into a bridge. Now, we are not arching our back, okay? We are keeping our core really strong and acting like there is a chain, just pulling up our pelvis right back down. So we're up, squeezing at the top, open, squeeze again, down, up, open, squeeze, down. Glute bridge and opener. All right, that's superset one. Superset two, abs. Remember, this is where we're really gonna target our core. So straight leg raise. You can do bent leg raise, you can do a variation, you can do a hollow hold, any of those will do. Push yourself, okay? If you can crank out a million straight leg raises, do a hollow hold. If you can't do a straight leg raise yet, do a bent leg raise. Push yourself. So we're down. Your hands kind of a little bit under your butt for stability. Press firmly into your mat. Legs are extended in front of you. 
90 degrees, and you're going to lower all the way to the floor if you can, and right back up. This is not about speed, this is about form. Slow and control. Bent leg raise, you're down, you bend to bring it in, and extend. All right, X plank. That is our last superset exercise. These are a little bit, if you're not used to them, they feel a little bit weird, look a little bit weird, but they are amazing. So we're beginning in that high plank position that we know so well by now. We want our shoulders stacked over our wrists. And you're in the high plank. I want you to think that you're planking the entire time. So you're keeping your core really strong. You're going to lift through the hips, break only at the hips, and then reach back opposite hand to ankle, back down to the high plank. You're just rotating through your obliques, through your torso. Again, core exercises are not about speed. This is about slow, feeling that burn. Okay. You guys are probably like cooled down by now. I should have had you jogging while I explained, but I need to grab one quick drink and then we're getting into it. And we are not stopping through the surfer sets, through the burnout. We're going hard the rest of this power home session. All right, super set one, one, three rounds. Sumo, double pulse jump squat, and glute bridge and opener. We're gonna do this three times. 30 seconds, not 40 seconds, so there we go, all right? I'm gonna do it off my mat just in case. And 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. You need to breathe. Your core is nice and strong. Squatting nice and deep, landing in that squat. Let's go, only 10 seconds. If you wanna modify, take out the jump. Low impact version, squeeze at the top. Five more seconds. Give me one more. Perfect. Loop bridge and opening on your mat, lying down. We raise our glutes, squeeze, open. Squeeze down. I want you to keep a nice, slow, steady pace. Think squeeze, open, squeeze down. 10 seconds. Squeeze, open, squeeze down. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, that's one lap. We have two more. I'm gonna rest with you guys this time. All right, sumo double pulse jump squats. Don't get too comfy. We have about 15 seconds left of our rest. Make that five. Everybody up, everybody up. I don't care what version you're doing. You're doing what you don't normally do. How about that? We're gonna push yourselves a little bit more than normal, a little bit out of your comfort zone. If you're not used to jumping, try to start with that jump and then modify if you need to. And let's go, 30 seconds. Double pulse, jump. Core is nice and strong. You are so powerful. I know your legs are burning. That feeling that tells your brain, oh, I need to stop because it hurts. You don't need to stop, your body wants to quit, or your mind wants to quit way before your body needs to. 10 seconds. That feeling of your legs burning right now is the feeling of growth. That is the feeling of strength being made, of your body changing. All right, three, give me one more. Yes, okay, glute bridge and opening. Down, palms down, straight into it, open. Squeeze, open, squeeze, down. Up. Nice. I really want you to pay attention to that squeeze, open, squeeze, down. So you're essentially more time under tension at the top of that bridge than at the bottom. Three, two, rest. Yes! Killing it. We are killing it. Okay. Last set of sumo double pulse jump squats are coming up. I'm a little nervous, I'm tired. And I'm having to talk while I do this. So 
So listen, I don't want any excuses. I don't want any complaining. We're gonna do this 30 seconds all together. You don't need to watch me anymore. You know the form. Three, two, one. Straight into it. Last round of superset one. Breathe. Modify, pull, squeeze. I know it burns. Burns so good. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, one more, three. Yes, and glute bridges right into them. We're down on the mat. Up, open, and down. Right into it. Nice. Keep that core really strong throughout this. Already halfway done. Last round, glute bridges. You should really feel a burn in those glutes. Great isolation exercise. Four, three, everybody one more. Finish the rep that you're on. And that is superset one. Yes, I am so proud of you. I'm proud of me too, to be honest. That's the thing about exercise. When I first began, it felt like impossible to start exercising consistently as part of normal life. That was insane to me. So I stopped. I stopped thinking about changing my life or completing 12 weeks. I started thinking about today. I'm gonna move my body today. It might be 10 minutes. I might quit halfway through, but today I'm gonna move my body. And then allow yourself to be proud for all those swell efforts. You do not need to wait until you've achieved something great to be proud of yourself. Because everything great is never achieved in one moment, it is achieved through the small, consistent efforts. Our life is predicated on the small and consistent daily choices that we make. With that said, our rest time is almost up. Superset two, you already know what to do. Straight leg raise and X planks. We are in it. All we have after this is our burnout. You guys are almost through. All right, step in on your mat, facing up, palms pressed down. Deep breath, you're gonna keep your core nice and strong. Knees at, or er, knees, legs at 90 degrees, and 30 seconds of straight leg raises starts now. Modification, bent leg raise. Really engage that core. Five seconds. Yes, it burns, it burns. Don't quit, just modify. Hold your knees in tabletop, if nothing else, for three, two, X planks. Let's get into it. We're in the high plank. We're going to reach alternate hand to ankle, like so. Back in the high plank, twist the other way. Your core is nice and strong. You are not breaking the line of your body except for at your hips. We're not arching our back. And it does not matter if you connect your hand to your ankle, okay? Reach in that direction and keep your form on point. Three, Two, one. Awesome, let's grab a drink. Super set two, two more rounds. Okay guys. No, we're back down. I don't know why I'm getting up. Straight leg raise, second round, super set two. In three, two, take a big deep breath because we're starting right now, 30 seconds on the clock. Leg raises, bent, straight. Another modification is to not lower your legs quite as much, stop here, and then back up. Go as low as you can, slowly. Beautiful. 
Deep breaths, five seconds. Breathe, feel those muscles engage. The mind muscle connection is real. Focus on your core, focus. Three, two, one. All right, X planks. High plank, go right into it. You don't need to watch me. High plank, rotate. Core is strong. Push yourself. I know you're tired. You have a choice to make. You can quit or you can give it a little bit more. Let's go, five, four, come on. Hold the high plank if nothing else. Three, two, beautiful. Quick drink of water. We have one more round. That is it. One more round and then we have our burnout. You guys are slaying it. I can just feel it. I don't have to see you. All right, 10 more seconds. I'm a little nervous for the burnout. I know what it is. I know what's coming, but I'm not gonna tell you. All right, and let's go. On our backs, leg raises, straight into it. Not a cardio exercise, this is a core exercise. Slow and controlled. Bent leg raise is great too. Use your breath. 10 seconds. Come on. In three, two, one. You have finished your last leg raise for the session. We're going into our last set of X planks now. I want you to listen to me carefully during this set. You don't need to watch, but you need to listen. We're already in it. 30 seconds is already on the clock. High plank, break at the hips, reach back. Big deep breaths. Beautiful, 10 seconds. Keep going. High plank, reach back into high plank. Three, two, do not come down. Hold that high plank, hold that high plank. Now all together we're going to go into low plank. Our burnout starts right now. 60 second plank. I don't want your hips up here. I don't want your hips to sag. You are a board, you are a straight board. Hands can be in fists or palms down to mat. If you think you can't do a plank right now, do it from your knees. This is still an exercise, it's still very hard. Do what you can. One minute of this plank and we were doing it all together. I'm right here with you. <sighs> Breathe deep, keep your neck in neutral spine. <sighs> Come on, 60 seconds. <sighs> I know it burns, but you can do it. Hold, hold. 10 seconds, you guys. If you think you need to come down, just go to your knees. Do not quit. Three, two, one. Yes. Snuck that burnout in on you guys. But we have one more. So everybody up. Whew, deep breaths. Take it out a little bit. And our last burnout, it's another 60 seconds. This is going to be squat variations, a series of squats. I'm going to guide you through. I really want this to be done together, okay? You don't really need to watch me. You know the form. We've done squats throughout this session. I want you to think of it like this. This is your last 60 seconds of exercise today. That's it. Give it all you have. Forget about that, you're tired. Let's go. We're in that squat position. I want you to start with a squat hold. 60 seconds around the clock. Our knees are in line with our toes. Core is nice and strong, deep breaths. Three, two, and pulse. Nice, I know it burns. You can do it. Three, two, and squat. Nice. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Hold, hold, and 10 seconds. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, four, don't quit. Two, that is a power at home session. I am Kelsey Wells. This has been the Women's Health UK live virtual workout event. I am dripping in sweat, so I hope you are too. I had so much fun today, but we are not quite done. We have to cool down. Deep breaths. Proud of you guys. Up and down to center. Step it out a little bit. Yes. Deep breaths. Walk it over to your right side. And to the left. Back to center. All right, squat. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna get on our knees. We gotta get those hip flexors. Extend one knee forward, step out with one knee and gently press. You should feel a nice deep stretch through your hip flexor. I'm proud of you guys. Three, two, switch legs. Ooh, yes. Three, two, one. All right, let's stand up. We're gonna stretch our arms a bit. So shoulders. Other side. And let's get our triceps. Woo! If you take away one thing from today, I just want you to understand that you are so much stronger than you know. So proud of you again. I am Kelsey Wells. Women's Health UK and I would love to see your sweaty selfies. If you have participated with us today, share your stories on your feed, on your socials, and tag at Women's Health UK, at Kelsey Wells, that's me, and hashtag get fit done. Thank you guys so much.